hello guys welcome to this video so in this video i will introduce to a new visual studio extension which allows you to actually do all in one image manager things you can compress images you can view images right in the editor itself you can crop images you can find details about these images so it will look something like this you can preview images right here there are lots more options you can convert images from one format to another you can compress images you can crop images and you can find out details about images right in the editor itself so the name of the extension is this image manager if you go to the extensions tab inside vs code and just search for this extension which is image manager so after typing image manager the very first extension which comes right here this is the actual extension Minko and uh, I've already installed it so you will basically see a install option you need to click on install so the extension will be enabled globally so after enabling it you just need to close this and now you just have it to have a series of images while you are developing your project so I have this images folder and we have a set of images right here In, you can take all image extensions are supported PNG JPG so we have a lot of extensions of images there in the images folder you need to right click the image and uh, you will actually see this option image manager you just need to toggle this for the very first time so now this window will open and you will actually see all your images right in the gallery like structure and you can individually select any image if you want to select the preview simply select this option so now you can actually flip the image in vertical direction horizontal direction you can rotate your images right in the editor itself like this all the basic image operations you can perform right here without having to having a major editor and then right click it and now you will actually see lot more options available to you you can actually copy the path of this image because in programming you will actually need situations if you need to have the cop uh, path of the image so you can directly copy the path right here and uh, then you can store this path it will give you this path here you will see that so this is really useful it will save you a lot of time and apart from that you can even have the relative path if you want to have the relative path not the full path it also gives you the relative path then we have the option to if you want to have the base 64 code of the image then also there is this uh, ready-made option available to you if you want to get the base 64 code of this image it will give you you can store this code right here then we have uh, the compress option so if you want to compress your image so many a times if you want to uh, move your application into production you need to compress your static assets such as images and the, your code you simply need to click compress and now a new window will open right here and it will actually have all these options you can control the compression level from 0 to 9 9 ma uh, means the smallest 0 means uh, no compression so image quality you can set 100 is the high quality one is the low let me compress it to 50 compression level the maximum then you can even control the size of this image format if you convert this to a different format i will set it to original if you want to preserve the original file simply select yes and uh, the minified will file will have this suffix dot min click on the confirm option and now your file will be successfully compressed and if you see it has have this main extension if I just compare the size right here you will actually see the original size worth 324 kilobyte and now the compressed size is 70 kilobyte so significantly the image size has been reduced and you can just see the quality of the image remains so constant so in this way you can uh, without leaving your editor you can directly compress your images as well without having to leave your editor simply a click is required then we come to the uh, 
convert format if you want to convert let's suppose this is a png image if you want to convert to a different image extension such as jpg webp gif all these uh, formats are ready made available simply select the extension let's suppose i want to convert this into webp image if you want to keep the original file simply select yes and then click confirm so now you will see your web uh, your file has been converted to webp file it opens in the browser so it will save you a lot of time all these operations you don't need to leave your editor you can directly do it inside vs code so then we come is the crop operation if you want to crop your images you can select the crop option and you will ready made see this uh, crop editor right built inside the vs code you will see you can simply crop your image whatever portion that you want to crop after selecting this simply click the preview option so it will look something like this click on the save option to simply save the cropped image and now the image will be simply cropped it will have this suffix crop.png you will see that you can see that it's all in one image editor in vs code extension so if you want to compress crop convert images from one format to another you can do it right in the editor itself you don't need any third party libraries or software so if you want to rename this file to any thing else you can rename to any other name let's suppose like this you can rename your file right here in the editor itself so if you want to delete this file simply click the delete option are you sure you want to delete this so the image will be deleted if you want to see additional information about this you want to preview this if you want to see the details of this image it will tell you the name of the image the directory the dimensions the width and the height the size of the image which is 11.18 kilobytes is compressed now so this is the extension guys that i wanted to show you in this video and uh, it's a must extension for all developers so it's a fairly new extension and uh, i just discovered it today so that's why i wanted to make this video so so it's a very simple extension after installing it you can directly use it no need of any advanced settings it shows all the images in a gallery like structure and all your images are accessible you can perform these operations with a simple click no need to select your editor so thank you very much for watching this video and if you like this video then please hit that like button and also subscribe the channel as well and i will be seeing you in the next video